Welcome to MD. In this video, we will learn about fractions. A fraction consists of two numbers written like this. The number on the top is called the numerator and the number on the bottom is called the denominator. We can visualize a fraction as a kind of division. For example, here we have a fraction of 1 over 4. The number 4 is indicating that we are dividing one whole into four equal parts. And the number 1 is representing that the fraction is one part out of the total of four parts. So 0 over 4 that is just equal to 0. And 4 over 4 is the whole, one whole, that is equal to 1. How about 5 over 4? That fraction is called improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And that means the fraction is larger than 1. So an improper fraction can be written into a mixed fraction. Here 5 over 4 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 4. Let's take a look at 1 over 4 and 4 over 16. We see that they are equivalent because they are describing the same amount. So two fractions having the same ratio are equivalent. Hence, a fraction may have infinitely many other fractions that are equivalent to it. For example, 1 over 4 is equivalent to 4 over 8, equivalent to 4 over 16, 400 over 1600, and so on. 1 over 10 is equivalent to 10 over 100, 100 over 1000, and so on. 1 over 5 is equivalent to 2 over 10, 20 over 100, and so on. We, we can see that whole numbers can also be written as fractions. For example, 2 is equivalent to 4 over 2, 6 over 3, 10 over 5, 200 over 100, and so on. Now, let's do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To add or subtract fractions having the same denominator, we add or subtract the numerator, leaving the denominator the same. For example, 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4 is equal to 3 over 4. And here, 7 over 10 minus 2 over 10 is equal to 5 over 10. But it is usually preferred to simplify a fraction into the lowest terms. So, 5 over 10 can be written as 1 over 2. Next, 5 over 6 plus 3 over 6 is equal to 8 over 6. Or simplifying, we can see that it's equal to 4 over 3. But this fraction, 4 over 3, is an improper fraction. So we can write as 1 plus 1 over 3. To add or subtract, fractions having different denominators, we need to rewrite the fractions such that they have the same denominator. It is, we need to find the common denominator. For example, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6. 
the common denominator is 6. So we can rewrite the addition as 4 over 6 plus 1 over 6. That is equal to 5 over 6. And 7 over 8 minus 1 over 2. The common denominator is 8. So we rewrite the subtraction as 7 over 8 minus 4 over 8. That is equal to 3 over 8. Next, 5 over 6 plus 1 over 4. The common denominator is 12. So we rewrite the addition as 10 over 12 plus 3 over 12. That is equal to 13 over 12. This is an improper fraction, so we can write as 1 plus 1 over 12. There is another method, which is a sort of cross, multi cross multiplication. So first, you multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. In this case, 5 times 4. Second, you multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So in this case, it's 6 times 1. Third, you multiply the denominators of the two fractions. In this case, uh, 6 times 4. So the answers will be the same. But using this method, you may end up with large number, but later you can simplify the fraction. Multiplication of fractions. To multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. For example, 3 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 5. This is equal to 3 times 2 divided by 4 times 5. The result is 3 over 10. Another example, 56 over 36 multiplied by 16 over 28. We can proceed to multiply these numbers. 56 times 16 divided by 36 times 28. That would give 896 divided by 1008. But it is easier to calculate smaller numbers. Hence, if we can simplify larger numbers into smaller numbers, we should do so. Here we find that we can simplify those numbers. Hence, 56 divided by 36 multiplied by 16 divided by 28 is equal to 4 over 18, that is equal to 2 over 9. Division. Division of a fraction with another fraction can be written as the multiplication with the divisor inverted. I inverted means the denominator and the numerator is swap or interchange. For example, 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 5 is the same as 3 over 4 multiplied by 5 over 2. So the result is 15 over 8. Another example is 7 over 10 divided by 1 over 2. That is the same as 7 over 10 multiplied by 2 over 1. Well, that makes sense. Dividing by half is the same as multiplying by 2 and vice versa. Hence, 7 over 10 divided by 1 over 2 is equal to 14 over 10. Or, as a mixed fraction, it is 1 plus 4 over 10 or 1 plus 2 over 5. Problems involving mixed fractions. When dealing with mixed fractions, for practical calculations, 
sometimes it is better to rewrite the mixed fraction as an improper fraction. For example, 1 and 2 over 5 divided by 2 over 3. First, we need to rewrite the mixed fraction 1 and 2 over 5. That's just equal to 5 over 5 plus 2 over 5. So 1 and 2 over 5 is the same as 7 over 5. Now we can multiply. 7 over 5 divided by 2 over 3 is the same as 7 over 5 multiplied by 3 over 2. The result is 21 over 10 or as mixed fraction it's 2 and 1 over 10. Next example, we have a subtraction, 5 and 1 over 3, minus 2 and 2 over 5. The first fraction can be written as 16 over 3, and the second fraction can be written as 12 over 5. Now, because they have different denominators, 3 and 5, we need to find a common denominator. That is 15. So the first fraction is written as 80 over 15. And the second fraction is 36 over 15. Hence, we can write the subtraction as 80, min 80 over 15 minus 36 over 15, which is equal to 44 over 15. Or as a make fraction, it is 2 and 14 over 15. So we have learned about fractions, equivalent fractions, improper fractions, mixed fractions, and we have learned how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So that's all I have to say now. And this is an exercise. You may want to try to solve the exercise. And thanks for watching. Bye.